Moving on to third question. A tangent PQ at the point P of the circle of radius 5 cm meets a line through O at a point Q so that OQ is equal to 12 cm. Length PQ is. Now moving on to solution. He has given the tangent PQ which is in contact with the circle at the point P and he says the center of circle is O and here the radius of the circle is given as 5 cm and OQ distance let us assume point Q somewhere on the tangent he has given that OQ is equal to 12 cm and ask us to find the length of PQ so let us note down the given information here that is radius OP is given as 5 cm OQ is given as 12 cm we know that the radius of circle is always perpendicular to the tangent we can say here angle OPQ is equal to 90 degrees therefore triangle OPQ is right angle triangle here in the right angle triangle by Pythagoras theorem we can say hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square here the hypotenuse will be OQ therefore OQ square is equal to side square that is OP square plus other side square that is PQ square that implies OQ is 12 here so OQ square will be 12 square which is equal to OP here is 5 centimeters so OP square will be 5 square plus PQ square which implies let us note on the step that is 12 square is equal to 5 square plus PQ square that implies 12 square is 144 which is equal to 5 square that is 25 plus PQ square let us transpose 25 to left hand side then we get PQ square is equal to 144 minus 25 which is nothing but 119 that implies PQ is equal to square root of 119 if we observe the options root of 199 centimeters is in option D therefore option D is correct moving on to the fourth question draw a circle and two lines parallel to a given line such that one is a tangent and the other a secant to the circle now moving on to solution now let us assume a circle is drawn with the center O and let us assume that AB is some line outside the circle now in order to draw a tangent let us assume a point P on the circle then let us draw a line parallel to AB as CD as it is passing through the one point of the circle it will be tangent now let us assume other two points on the circle E and F such that let us join E and F so that it is perpendicular to CD and as the line EF is passing through two points of the circle it is known as secant of the circle and here AB is our assumed line that is given therefore with the assumed line or the given line AB we have drawn a line CD which is tangent to the circle passing through point P and we have also drawn a other line parallel to the tangent CD EF 
which is intersecting circle at two points known as secant of the circle.